was thinking about the message that he preached on last night about the dark times. God dwelleth in thick darkness. Then I was thinking about the Spirit of the Lord. The Bible says in Revelation about John, he was on the Isle of Patmos. History tells us they done some pretty bad things to him. But the Bible says, John said, I was in the Spirit on the Lord's day. <laughs> Thank God he can still speak through his Spirit. I love the Spirit of the Lord. Amen. Where would you be? I'm glad he spoke to me when I was lost. Amen. The Holy Ghost power come to me and let me know I was lost. But I didn't have to stay that way. There's some of you that was a long ways down there in sin's prison. But thank God for the Spirit of the Lord. Amen. That rescued you. That come after you. That put you under arrest. That said you don't have to die this way. I didn't do a lot of wicked things. But I want to thank the Lord that the Spirit of the Lord. Amen. Come to where I was. I can still remember sitting in the bathroom at my mom and dad's. Just sweat pouring down my face. Or thinking about going to a place where I couldn't get out of. Where the... They Amen. The worm dieth not and the fire is not quenched. And how do I how do I keep from going there? I keep hearing that old man of God say, There is a place called Calvary. There's a man named Jesus. Just come to him. I'm thankful tonight. Amen. I ain't nothing, but he died so he could have life and have it more abundantly. He come all the way from heaven to bleed and die on Calvary so he can make a way. Amen. Where the, the turtle doves and the pigeons and the lambs and the calves every year just rolled them ahead but John said behold the Lamb of God that taketh away the sin of the world Amen. I'm so thankful the Jews were blinded in part that the Gentiles may be come in I'm thankful he opened the door amen to ones that was called the dog he welcomed the sin amen and said I got a place for you at the table amen I'm nothing tonight but I'm a child of the king if you're saved you're to bless him tonight because it ain't anything you've done it's all in him praise the Lord amen. amen it's all in him thank God he rescued you amen I mean he rescued you amen, amen. I heard one writer say he saw a lion out of the mouth of the lion he saw a lamb and all that was left was a leg and a piece of an ear pretty much gone wasn't it but thank God brother Joe for the shepherd Amen. I said, thank God for the shepherd. David stood up and old Saul, quivering under old, about old Goliath. And he said, let me tell you what happened one day. I was over there watching my daddy's sheep. There's a lion come out of the thicket, got one of them lambs. And he said, I went over there and the first thing I done was got that lamb. And then I slew that lion. Hallelujah. Amen. On May the 27th, Taylor Williams, amen, the shepherd come to where you was, hooked on meth, alcohol, amen, everything the world had to try to fill that void. Just barely a little bit hanging out of the mouth of the lion. But thank God I'm glad the shepherd come looking for me. I said the shepherd come looking for me. Amen. I'm glad he didn't throw me away, Charlie. I said I'm glad he didn't throw me away. He gave me another chance. I said he gave me another chance. Amen. The Bible said in the book of Jonah, the word of the Lord came unto Jonah the second time. Thank God in the belly of hell cried I. He said, but God had mercy on me. You remember where you was when he found you? I said, do you remember where he was when he found you? Hallelujah. You want to thank him tonight? Amen. He could have left you down there. There was nothing left of you. Amen. But to throw away, but to king said I can use what's there and he made a saint of God out of you praise his holy name thank God and if you're here tonight and you've backslid away from God and God opened the door and you've come back to God you ought to especially thank the Lord a man that would give his life for you and then you accept him and then turn your back on him and walk away. Amen. But he, he come and knocked again. He come and knocked again. Amen. And here you are back tonight in the pillow in the ground of the truth. Amen. He welcomed you back home. I said he welcomed you back home. Amen. Ain't you glad God is still saving sinners tonight? 
Amen. If you're here tonight and you're lost, you're backslid, you're away from God, let me tell you, friend, time's running out. Somebody said the door's still cracked, you can get in. Oh, no, the door's still wide open. It'll be wide open till the last day. God says shut the door. It's good to be in the Lord's house tonight. I'm glad I'm saved, David. I'm glad I'm saved. I'm nothing, but I'm glad I'm in the fold. It's good to see all of you here tonight. Hope and pray you come to do one thing, and that's just worship the Lord. Amen. I'm not try, I'm not here to be like you. You don't need to be like me. We're just here to be ourself. Amen. The best day in your life is when you just be yourself Amen. and just worship the Lord for what He's done for you. Amen. He's, he's done a lot for some of you. You've got a lot to praise Him for. Amen. Lose your dignity tonight. Kick the training wheels off. And let's just have church tonight. Amen. If you can and feel like it, let's all stand to our feet tonight and go to the Lord in prayer. Amen. Let's welcome the Spirit into this service tonight. Brother David Crow, lead us, please. Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Amen. Caitlin, come sing for us tonight. Praise the Lord. Bless her, Jesus. Bless her, Jesus. You've heard me say this many times while she's coming. Go to Lowe's and buy two befores. Go through the whole stack. Throw the crooked ones to the back. Buy the straight ones, because if I'm going to pay for them, I want something straight. But when Jesus come, he went over to the back of the stack. He got them crooked ones, and he said, I can make a kingdom out of these. Thank you, Jesus. How many of you here say that was me? <laughs> Hallelujah. But I'm glad I ain't what I used to be. Amen. Pray for her tonight as she sings. Sing, sister. I just want to thank the Lord for everything he's done in my life and this has been on my heart here lately I'm, I sit there and I anybody else does this I sit there and journal my prayers you know and I was going through there complaining and complaining and moaning and groaning and I got up and went to the bathroom and I come back and the Lord said what do you got this, what you thankful for Caitlin and I tell you, that list was twice as long as that one that I was complaining about. And I don't deserve anything that he's ever given me. And I fell back and come back. And I just want to, I'm so thankful for mercy. If you could fill the book with all the stuff that I ain't proud of, things I'd like to take back, choices I regret, lines in the story I just can't forget, but hallelujah, Jesus did. I got a blank page Cause the blood erased All the mistakes I've made And where I've been I 
got a clean slate. I got a new date. Cause he washed away all my sin. I got a blank page. I've read the words and read the talk about a love. He loves me no matter what I've done. And I felt his sweet forgiveness he gave me through his son. And who I am ain't what I once was. And I got a blank page. Cause the blood erased all the mistakes I've made and where I've been. I got a clean slate. I got a new date. Cause he washed away all my sin. I got a blank page.
I believe it'll be worth it, don't you? Amen. Amen. Glad I'm here tonight. Glad I'm saved. Always good to be even in the Lord's house. Good to see you here. Amen. I appreciate my brother-in-law, even Lee Cole, for being here tonight. I thought about this today, and I and it's done been mentioned. I know what it is to be backslidden out of the will of God. Amen. I know about that. I wish I didn't, but I do. There was a time in my life Lee was pastoring up on Cane Creek. Him and my sister, they was going up there. And I, now I'm saying this to my shame, living in sin. I was living in sin, I was. I went home one day and I checked the mail. And I didn't ever check the mail. Even, but I checked the mail that day and there's a letter in there. And it was addressed to me and I opened it up. and It had wrote in it, it said, you don't know me and I don't really know you. Your brother-in-law and your sister, every time we're at church, ask, ask us to pray for you. And I want you to know that I love you and I'm a praying for you. Look what God's done for me. I'm glad that the effectual, him and fervent prayer of a righteous man availeth much. Thank the Lord God's been good to me tonight. Brought me a long way. It's done been said, but... I'm glad that I'm not what I used to be. I'm glad, amen. I, amen. I look forward to glory, don't you? Thank the Lord. Amen. But in the book of 1 Chronicles tonight, even 1 Chronicles in chapter number 13, even I appreciate the Lord. Glad we're here. 1 Chronicles in chapter number 13, verse number 13. Amen. Now you pray for us. I'll do my best to just give you my heart tonight. Amen. Need the help of the Lord. Amen. Verse number 13, the Bible says, So David brought not the, amen, the ark home to himself to the city of David, but carried it aside 
He went into the house, amen, of Obed-Edom the Gittite. The ark of God remained with the family of Obed-Edom in his house in three months. And the Lord blessed the house of Obed-Edom and all even that he had. That's all that I'll read tonight. Amen, I appreciate the word of God, don't you? How good that he is to us. But if the Lord, amen, had helped us tonight, I want to lay the thought on your heart. When the ark is at your house, when the ark is at your house, and, and now you bear with me, amen, it might take me just a minute to get where we need to go, but amen, but the ark, amen, of the covenant was a representation of the spirit and the power of God. I'm glad, amen, for the power of God, ain't you? It was God's power that spoke to me when I was lost and in my sea. Brought me where I am. Paul said it the best. It's in him we live and move and have our being. Thank God for his power and his presence. This hour came another covenant. It was a very, very and brother, precious saying unto God's people. They could go off into battle, amen, against the armies that, that was way greater and way mightier than they was. Oh, but they could come out with victory all the cold. Amen. If they had the ark, amen, on their side. And I've seen it tonight, and no doubt you have. We face things, amen, that to the world, amen, they'd look at us and, and they'd say that there's no way that man could make it out. But I'm glad that I come out on the other side of it all because of the ark and the spirit and the power of God. It was the ark, amen, when Israel was standing, amen, and looking over Jordan, how great. And how mighty, amen, that it was. It was the ark that Joshua told him. Amen, amen. Now when you get up in the morning and you see the ark go by, he said, you just go after it. Amen, it was the ark that when they stood, amen, right, amen, in the midst of the Jordan, amen, that was holding that back. It wasn't Israel's mightiness. It wasn't the Levite's righteousness. It was the ark of God, his power that was holding. Amen, the Water's back. It was the ark that led the way as they marched around Amen Jericho. All of them days it was God. Amen that day. Amen that was going with them on that last day in the last trip. Amen. It was the same thing that it was every other time. They could have left the ark at home and the walls wouldn't have fallen. Amen. But because that they held the Heart and high steam. A God done the rest. Amen. God help us in the day that we're living in. Amen. To get back to desiring and wanting and needing of the old time power of God. Oh, brother, we're in a day. Amen. Men have got satisfied. Amen. Amen. With a counterfeit. Amen. They've got filled up. Amen. With emotion. Uh, brother, we've come to a time, uh, amen, where if it's sad enough uh, and if the preacher's loud enough, uh, uh, men will holler amen over anything. Uh, uh, but I desire uh, and long for the power uh, of a holy God, uh, amen. Uh, I told you last night, uh, that's what sets us apart uh, uh, from everybody else, uh, amen. Uh, it's nothing, uh, amen, about my flesh that's holy. Uh, there's nothing nothing about this man, uh, amen, that's righteous, uh, uh, but greater uh, is he that's in you uh, uh, than he uh, uh, that's in the world. Uh, uh, thank God for the spirit uh, and the power of God. Here they was, but Israel got to a place where uh, they thought they didn't quite need it like they one time did. Israel got to a place at a time where they felt like maybe that ark was just too much amen of a burden amen Israel got to the place where it took just a little too much time to wait on the Levites to carry the ark they just wanted to go on and do things on their own and by their self I read brother where they made a tabernacle Amen up at shallow, put the ark of God up there, and for years that's where it stayed. I was just in that one place. Israel wasn't concerned, amen, about the ark much anymore. He wasn't a whole lot of fighting going on. He wasn't a whole lot of battles being fought. 
and they thought we don't really need uh, all that old relic anymore. Uh, amen. It feels as if tonight, uh, amen, in a lot of places, uh, uh, that God's power uh, has just put up on a shelf. Uh, amen. Collecting dust. Uh, and once in a while, uh, uh, we'll walk by and glance at it uh, and look at it. Uh, uh, talk about the old days. Uh, oh, and grandma and grandpa uh, uh, carried the ark around. Uh, uh, but I'm afraid we leave it. Uh, uh, right where we left it. Uh, yeah. Hey, man. Uh, uh, hey, listen. Uh, uh, it takes a burden uh, uh, to have the power of God. Uh, 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 you got to get under a load. Uh, uh, amen. To have the ark. Uh, uh, I believe it's worth it, don't you? Uh, uh, I wouldn't trade uh, 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 what I feel in my soul. Uh, 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 there ain't enough gold. Uh, uh, amen. In Fort Knox. Uh, uh, hey, money can't buy uh, 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 the spirit uh, uh, and the power of God. Uh, 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 we need it now. Uh, 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 more than ever. Uh, hey, put it uh, upon a shelf and uh, shallow. I'll get to my text in a moment. Uh, Walk by and look at it. Hey, young and still, pull on mama's coattail and say, you mean tell me people used to carry that around? It's sad, brother, but a day's going to come when children ain't even going to know what a shout is anymore. Brother, we're in a time you let the power of God uh, fall in a whole lot of places uh, and scare folk to death. Uh, uh, but don't be afraid of it. Uh, oh, uh, uh, it's done brought us a mighty long way. Uh, uh, it pulled Hebrews up out of fire. Uh, uh, Amen. Thank God. Uh, uh, Amen. It's been with me every step I've ever made. Uh, uh, and one day, thank God, it'll take me home. Uh, 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 don't be afraid uh, uh, of the power of God. Israel went off in the battle, uh, faced to Haman the Philistines, uh, got whooped. Uh, Ain't that right? Uh, Why'd they get whooped? The power wasn't there. Uh, Somebody got the bright idea. Uh, you know what? I heard how Grandpa uh, used to carry the ark. Uh, uh, Let's go get it. Uh, and see if God will help us. Uh, well, half nine Phineas, uh, when a bebop and a pair grabbed the Ark of the Covenant, uh, Israel let out a shout. Uh, uh, the Philistines heard the shout uh, and thought, oh no, uh, 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 God's in the camp. Uh, uh, amen. But what? Uh, uh, they didn't know. Uh, uh, God's never been uh, uh, in the spare tire business. Uh, uh, amen. Uh, 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 he'll never. Uh, uh, amen. Play third wheel uh, 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 on anything in our life. Uh, 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 and they might have had the ark, uh, 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 but God wasn't with them. Uh, 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 and they marched off and uh, uh, it ain't everything that shouts as God. Uh, 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 it ain't everything with emotion uh, uh, as God. Uh, 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 amen. Uh, 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 and they marched off in the battle uh, 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 with the ark. Uh, 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 and because of that, uh, 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 the Philistines uh, 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 stole it away. Preacher, you think God would let them, and God didn't let them, they let it happen. That's right. Amen. Oh, with me, it'll get good in a minute. Oh, yeah. Hang on with me. The Philistines stole the ark away. Everywhere it went, Johnny, over in that land, it was followed by death. They brought it home and put it in, in there with our God. Went back in the next day and their God was turned over. They stood him back up and dusted him off. Went back in the next day. He was turned over and his head and his hands was cut off. God was showing me there's one God and one mediator between God and man. Brother, we can make all the idols we want, but at the end of the day, he'll stand when nothing else will. Amen. Oh, scared that bunch to death. Keep this in mind. Everywhere it went in the land, amen, of the Philistines, judgment always followed. Judgment, death, sickness, disease followed it. They said, we don't want this thing no more. We don't want it no more. The world don't really desire the power of God. We're in a time where the church don't want it much neither. We don't want it. And uh, for sake of time, it ended up in a man's house by the name of Abinadab. 
Hey, years went by. The ark wasn't in Israel. Years, decades went by, and the power wasn't in Israel. There was a young king that had come into power. I don't think could ever could remember a time when the ark was where it's supposed to be. Of a Johnny, he got a longing down within him. How to go get it? He got a longing to get it and bring it home. Hey man, I'll talk to them girls. Hey, God's given me girls. Look up here. If nobody else wants it, I'll get along and in your soul for the power of God. If nobody else desires it, I'll get along and within you. I'll get it again. <laughs> oh, David heard how the Philistines had rolled it around on a cart. He told him, I'll just go get it. Got him a shiny new cart. Brandon probably had my egg wheels on it. I mean, look good. Look good to this flesh. Put the, put the ark upon the cart. Amen. Said, let's go to the auction. And down the road they went. Amen. God won't be rolled in on anything in this world. Of the same thing it took them to have the power. It'll take now to have the power. You can't roll him in on anything new. It won't work. Hey Amen. I love what Jeremiah said. I seek ye out the old path and walk there. That's what it takes to have God today. Amen. Amen. Whoa. Oxen stumbled. Heart began to rock. Oh, you just stuck his hand down trying to stabilize it. God killed him. Preacher, that's harsh. Power of God don't need my legs to stand on. It'll stand on its own. Amen. 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 Oh, in all reality, and as bad as this is, God don't need me. And God don't need you. He chooses to bless us and help us. But as much as he don't need me, oh, I need him more than I need my next breath. I need God in everything that I do tonight. All right, all that was introduction. David got worried about the ark. I don't un hardly understand how he come to the fact he'd leave it at old Bed Edom's house. I don't know how he rationed that out in his mind. I'll leave it there. But for some reason or another, David decided, I'm going to leave the ark at old Bed Edom's house. Now let's change care a little bit. Are y'all still with me? Here was old Bed Edom. And I can just read my Bible for what it says. Bible calls him a Gittite. Amen. That's my understanding. He's of the people of Gath. Amen. Of the Philistine. That's the way I read that. Here he was living in a land. A brother where judgment had come through and ravished everything. Then he probably walked out and looked down into a well with no water. He'd probably look over crops how they just wouldn't grow no more. Everywhere you looked, there was death and trouble. But one day he looked up, and through the dust and the smoke, here come David with the ark down there of the old Bed Edom's house. I ain't going over your head, am I? Amen. Thank God for a day. Brother, when I went as far as I could go, everywhere I looked was judgment and death and sin and sickness. But what a Sunday night. Oh, when I looked through the smoke, amen, and I seen the king of glory, amen, of bringing something. Are you glad you saved? I brought it down to my house. Why he decided to bring it to me, I'll never know. But thank God that the yard is in my house. Here was old Ben Edom. David brought the ark, left it there. When he got it, I don't believe he knew what he was getting to you. I don't believe he could fully fathom and understand 
just what he was getting a hold of. Yeah, man, when I got born again, I didn't know everything that I was getting into. Yeah, man, I, I didn't get saved to go to heaven. I got saved because I didn't want to go to hell. When I got born again, heaven was the last thing on my mind. You know what was running through my heart, Homer? Hell and all that it was. But thank God, a way was made that you and I could escape that awful place. I'm glad the ark's in my house. I'm glad that the king made a pit stop. Amen, down to where I was. I don't know how. I don't know how. As big as the world is. And the Lord found a rock cliff on the head of Price's Creek. To come, why he ever done that is more than I know. But praise his holy name. I'm glad the ark is in my house. All of a sudden, the ark was there. Old Betty Eda might have closed the door and said, I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it. I'm just glad David come to see me. Then he walked out, hey man, and looked in that well where there wasn't no water. And all of a sudden water began to run again. Y'all with me? Looked over that crop that just wasn't grow anymore. I believe overnight, stalks of wheat was that high. <laughs> and he thought, surely, that thing David left me is a doing all this. Can I tell you, being born again is a beautiful thing. And man, he never said it'd be easy, but he did say he'd be there. Hey man, through it all, I'm glad, friend. But now when I look out, I'm not looking at death. Hey man, I'm not looking at sickness and sin. I look out and see the blessings that God's given me, that God's blessed me with. It's all through and by him. Amen. Amen. I aggravate my oldest girl. She, I'm going to embarrass her here. She's been getting wanting to whine and complain about stuff. For the past two nights, I've quoted this. In all things, give thanks. In all things. Don't misquote that. He don't say for. It's in. Y'all hear me? Even in your hard days. Still praise the Lord for the good days you've had. Yeah. I don't think that every day for Obed Edom after this was easy. But I do believe he had something to lean on now that, yeah. uh, that he had never had before. Right. Maybe he went into town, Dale, and going around with a smile on his face. And people would say, Obed Edom, I don't understand why you're smiling. I don't understand. What do you have to smile about? Don't you see the death and the turmoil and the trouble that we're facing? And he'd say, oh, I see all that. I see everything in this world. But ever since a David come to my house, everything's been well and good. Are y'all with me? Oh, I realize the world's getting more evil every day. But brother, there's something in my soul that makes me rejoice, that makes me raise my hands and say, even so, come quickly. Oh, Lord Jesus, is the ark at your house tonight. God help us. Here he was. Old Ben Edom got there. Hey, man, the Bible said him and his house was blessed. All the, all the days that the ark was there, God blessed him. Didn't say it'd be easy. It just said God blessed him. Didn't say he didn't have any more trouble. It just said that God blessed him. I believe he might even got to the point where he realized everything he had was because the ark was in his house. He could look down the road and see trouble down there. Hey, man, and thank God he might have still been in trouble. Uh, but he had the ark and they didn't. Hey, man, aren't you glad for, hey, for the power of God? I can look out and see folk having hard days. And you'll invite them to church. Hey, man, that's I don't want to go. Hey, man, you'll, you'll tell them about the Lord. And I don't want to hear it. Who do they turn to when trouble comes? If I didn't have the Lord. I'd go crazy, oh, but I'm glad I got him, I'm glad he's there, oh, when I call on him, he never fails 
me. Oh, thank God the ark is in my hell. Here it was. Amen. I believe it even got so on some days, Dale. Amen. He may not have had no money to pay no bills. He might even lost some loved ones. Hard days. What are we going to do now? He had to go in there and look at the ark. Say, at least I still got this. He might even fall on his face in front of the ark and say, I know there's trouble everywhere, but you brought me this far. I'm just going to trust you to see me through. Woo! I don't know about you, but praise his holy name. He's brought me this far. I believe I'll trust him to see me on through. He's brought me this far. I don't believe he'll fail me here. Amen. Hey, I'm almost done. I'm glad the ark's in my house. Here was Obed-Edom. Ark there, and I believe David told him, you take care of it. I'll be back to get it. Here he was. And the same king that brought the ark, and they rolled around. He looked, and here come David. Back to get it. I promise you this, just as sure as the sun come up this morning. Just as sure as it's going to go down here in just a little while. There'll be a blessed day when the SOE on will creep up over the horizon. And the same thing that he brought, I promise he's a coming again. That ought to make even an old dead soul shout. I don't know, thank God, that the Lord is coming. Who's he coming for? Those that you're looking for. David knocked on the door. Oh, but Edom, I come to get the ark. He said, hold on a minute. Yeah. Open that suitcase up and get a pile of stuff in it. Oh, but Edom, what are you doing? I'm going with it. Yeah. Wherever it goes, I'm going. David might have said, oh, but Edom, why? what makes you want to go with this so bad? He said, well, <laughs> look at everything it's given me. Everything I have is because the ark's been in my house. Everything I possess is because the ark was brought to me. Thank God. And old Ben Edom said, I tried it with it. And I tried it without it. And I've done made up in my mind. I'm not going to be here without it. Amen. I've tried it with him. I've tried it without him. But friend, I've never found anything that can take the place of the ark of being in my house. David said, I've been young and now I'm old. And I'm never. Do you get that word? It still means the same thing now. Never seen the righteous forsaken, nor his seed of begging for bread. What does that mean? If you got the ark in your house, what more could you want? Don't go reaching after nothing new. Just hang on to the ark. Amen. Old Ben Edom said, I'm going with it. I'm going with the ark. You know what? Even David let him go. It's so unworthy. Get tight, man. Living down there in an old mud hut in the land of the Philistines. Didn't have a thing when day when David showed up. Hey, man, but oh, now here he is. Got a free ride. Hallelujah to a place he's never been. He'd probably just heard about Jerusalem, but he had never been there. But now he is being chauffeured by the king himself. Oh, y'all with me? Thank God, here I am. I'm worthy and undeserving. I should have done been in hell. I didn't have a thing. Oh, when the Lord showed up. But what a blessed day. I'll get a free ride. Yeah. Amen. Chauffeured yeah. by the King of Glory. Yeah. I say, hang on. Yeah. I will be there yeah. for long. Amen. 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 Hey, here was old Ben Edom following along behind the ark. He didn't get in front of it. 
he just got in behind it. And I'd even got to the point, Johnny, people would look at him. He might even have been hiding behind the ark. <laughs> Don't look at me. Just look at that. <laughs> oh, I would to God tonight. Hey, man, I wish that I'm backwards. I'm choir. You ain't going to find anybody more strange than I am. I don't like folk looking at me. Hey, man, please, please, hey, man, don't see me. I hope you can just see him like Isaiah seen him. And lifted up. Going along to Jerusalem. Hey, man, behind the ark. David done it right this time. Amen, as a shoulder and a load. Amen. Got up early. I believe all the days that he had heard about Jerusalem, he, he got to gaze over in there and see that place. <laughs> I'm going to preach in a minute. Somebody might have said, looked at him, said, you ain't, you ain't a Levite. You're an old Philistine. You're a Gentile. What are you doing? All he could, all he could do was point at the ark. <laughs> all he could do was say, I'm with it. <laughs> Whoa. Hey, man, if not for the grace of God, <laughs> you and I was once a people <laughs> that was alienated <laughs> from the commonwealth of Israel, <laughs> having no hope <laughs> and without God in the world. <laughs> but now, <laughs> thank God I've been grafted in. Yeah. <laughs> and if anybody says, <laughs> Oh, what are you doing? I, I just point at him I, and say, oh, because of him, I, I am I, where I am. Amen. Hey, oh, here, I believe old Ben Edom just kind of wanted to hide in the shadows. Didn't really want anybody's attention. He was just glad to be there. He might have been dead last in line, but he is just glad to be a father along behind the ark. Yeah. <laughs> oh, listen, friend, when I think, amen, about all, all the good men of God here tonight, aggravate Lee all the time, I tell him he's a steak. I'm a chicken nugget, but amen, when I think about Dale, amen, and Brandon, and Jack, and Lee, and Johnny, all these men of God, I think I'm the lowest of the low. I, I am, I'm not much of anything, uh, but aren't you glad uh, of the same thing you holding up, uh, I'm holding up, uh, of the same way you'll get tired, uh, I'll get tired, uh, thank God for his grace, uh, I'm glad the ark uh, has made a visit uh, out of my house. Amen. Here he was, back over in the shadows, David brought the ark in, boy, people was rejoicing. Israel was glad. See the ark back. Old Bet Edom was just over here, just tickled to death to be numbered among them. They done it. David began to tell them how good the ark was, how wonderful it was to have the ark back. David began to list off who he wanted to minister, to sing around the ark of the covenant. For the rest of their days, David began to list off everybody he wanted in that choir. I'm a, we'll shout in a minute. As David went down the list, old Bet Edom was just over here, just tickled to death. Thank the Lord, I'm not living in that old sin cursed place no more. <laughs> thank God, amen, that David come to my house. Oh, thank you, David, for making that long, dusty trip. How to I wasn't looking for David, but David came looking for me. And as David would get the light right off and list off who he wanted, he got down at the end of those singers and he said, Oh, Bet Edom. <laughs> said, Oh, hey, Oh, Bet Edom probably turned. You talking to me? <laughs> Woo! Oh, I don't believe Old Bet Edom's jogged over there. I believe he crawled, Dale. <laughs> Crawled over there to that great king of Israel. Oh, he just began to thank him. 
uh, for how good he had been to him. Uh, and then David said, son, uh, let me help you. Yeah. Uh, oh, reached back. Uh, Amen. Grabbed that minister's robe. Uh, uh, he laid it on the back yeah. of Obed Edom. Uh, uh, an unworthy, uh, uh, undeserving, uh, uh, a Gentile should have died. Uh, uh, had the king, uh, uh, Amen, lay a robe uh, uh, upon him. Uh, <laughs> the Bible says uh, talking about the church uh, and unto her uh, I was granted uh, you know what granted means give uh, unto her was given uh, I believe a robe wider uh, other than anything you've ever seen uh, I don't really know uh, everything that's going to go on uh, uh, but I got hope in my soul uh, uh, amen that somewhere uh, uh, over in the glory world uh, 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 one day after a while uh, uh, oh in this old carnal uh, uh, a vile body uh, 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 that I live in uh, 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 has been laid down of uh, 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 the king of glory uh, 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 reach over uh, 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 grab that spotless uh, uh, and send a slight robe uh, 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 lay it on my back uh, uh, and brother from then on uh, I'll shout the ages uh, saying worthy uh, uh, worthy is the lamb uh, uh, I'm glad the arch at my house uh, uh, this making any sense to you Glad you saved. Thank God. Amen. And I guess you could say, Amen, in the grand scheme of things, what did old Bed Edom do the rest of those days? He just went around the ark. <laughs> oh, <laughs> them other Levites probably couldn't hardly understand what old Bed Eden was doing, but they didn't know what it was like. Yeah. They didn't know what it was but to live in them old mud huts down there in that sinful land. Old Bed Eden, what are you so happy about? If you only knew where I was, if you only knew where I'd be, oh, when the king come and found me, oh, you'd be happy too. He had, I believe, go after the rest of his days around the ark saying, Holy, holy, holy. I, I believe there's a day, Dale. Hey, man, John looked out, seen that great and both sea of white. Hey, Amen. I thank God. I'm glad that I'm part of that crowd. Ain't you? Amen. Yeah. Hey, Look down and see them. I believe that the day's coming when the angels of glory have to just kind of scoot off to the side. Why? They don't know what it is to be lost and on their way to hell. The angels don't know what it is. Amen to be hell bound with a hammer down. And all of a sudden, that heavenly host, amen to those unworthy, undeserving folk, will ride back and begin to sing. Amen. All of heaven may be saying, what are they singing about? Oh, but I'll know. I'll know. I once was lost, but now I'm found. Was blind. Of a Amen. I guess you could say, and he lived happily ever after. Yeah. Amen. Thank God for a day when this old vile thing's going to be laid to the side to forever be in the presence of the Lord. I'm glad the ark's in my house. Go ahead, Ethan. Amen. I'll ask you this Is the ark at yours? David said, Lord, restore unto me the joy of thy salvation. You know what he meant? David said, Lord, I know the ark's in my house, but I need my joy back. There's been days when I took him for granted. When I just had what I had, knowing that it come from God and just go on down the road, never think another thing about it. But there's still joy in serving the Lord. 
I know we're still on this side of dust. Thank God the day's going to come. We ain't going to eat no dust no more. Day's going to come, as I told you last night, when the darkness won't fall no more. I want the ark to be in my house when he calls me. Obed Edom could have got the ark out, throwed it out in the yard, said, David, I don't want that. And when David come back, Obed Edom would have stayed right there and died in that old sinful place. But he entrusted him with such a great a gift as the Ark of the Covenant. If you're here tonight and you're saved, God's give you the greatest gift mankind's ever known. He's entrusted that to you. And when he calls my name, I want it to still be in the house. I want it to still be around me. Amen. Because when he calls, amen, that that, they, that, that has the spirit is a going out. I, I want to hear him say, well done, one day after a while. As we stand, come on, brother. You may be here tonight. You may have enjoyed the presence and the power of God in your life in days gone by. And know what it feels like to go to bed at night and have peace. But you've drifted away and the ark is not at your house. Preacher, I know what God can do, but I'll be honest. There's so much trouble in my life. We all have trouble. When you're backslid, you know what brings it. Preacher, I'm not where I need to be. I wonder why every head's bowed and every eye's closed. I'm not where I need to be, Preacher. Would you please pray for me? If that's you tonight, would you please just lift your hand up high enough for me and God to see it? Just put it right back down. I see that hand. Would there be another one anywhere? Preacher, pray for me, please. I see the hands of the children. Would there be another one anywhere? Pray for me. I mean, you may be lost tonight. You don't, you don't have no idea what you're missing out on. I feel very uncomfortable with my soul. Pray for me. Maybe just lift your hand up high enough for me and God to see it and just put it right back down. You that raised your hand, why don't you come to the altar? If you're not able to kneel, you can sit, stand. It's the position of your soul. Come on right now. Bless you, Dave. Bless your heart. Some of you ladies come pray with her. Bless you, boys. Bless you, boys. Hallelujah. These are in the altar praying. I'll tell you what you ought to do. You ought to look over your life at the mess you was in when the ark come to your house. The brokenness that was in your world and the things that God has put back together that you don't even deserve. I'll tell you what you ought to do. You ought to come find your place in the altar and do nothing more than do what Obed Edom, I guarantee you, done. Thank you, David, for letting me go. Hallelujah. I appreciate you tonight, Jesus. Maybe you'd like to come and just thank you. Thank you, Jesus. We love you, Jesus. No, oh, I love you. Oh, God. Thank you, Jesus.
Thank you, Jesus. When Joseph named his children, this is what he said. For God has caused me to be fruitful in the land of mine affliction. When the Lord's with you, when the ark's there, things happen. I believe, and the Bible don't say this, so don't throw stones at me. But I believe you could go in the house of Boaz and I believe the centerpiece on the mantle would have been a shoe. What do you want to save a shoe for? I believe Ruth would have spoke up and said, I come out of the land of Moab. God's wash pot. And I come into the land of bread. And I was nothing and a nobody. And I went into the field of a fellow named Boaz. And he went into a city and he bought me. And when they made it, when they made a deal, he plucked his shoe off. And come, I believe coming back down the road was Boaz with one shoe. Oh, and I believe Ruth said, let me have that. I want to save that. Amen. Every once in a while, you need to glance back in your world and remember who you was and you wasn't nothing. But God can reach in the wash pot of sin and pull out a jewel. Amen. And call his name a saint. And that's me and you. And thank God I ain't nothing, but I'm glad he's everything. Amen. Greater is he that's within me than he that's within the world. Every once in a while, we need to reflect where he's brought us from. Amen. Regardless of where you're at, it don't matter if you're a preacher, pastor, song leader, it don't matter who you are, you come from a life of sin. Amen. You ain't nothing without God. Amen. You need to thank God. Every once in a while, I believe them children of Israel would lead their children down out by the river. What's that big pile of rocks mean? You come across here one day, we pile these rocks out for a memorial. So I could bring you back down here and tell you what the Lord has done. Amen. America's so blessed. We're so blessed. We're spoiled. But God blesses us. And I'm glad he's at my house. I'm glad he's at my house. I couldn't help but think about you and Tammy, Homer. And I'm not putting you on the spot. But where you was when the Lord found you. But when the ark parked at your house. Look at the things God has done. I mean, fields were just scorched by what the canker worm had destroyed. God restored. Hallelujah. Did you enjoy that good preaching tonight?